guys, it's Cal here from Chaos Sabers. So this is just a quick video uh, for those of you who will be purchasing uh, the 7 8 inch copper heat sinks that I sell here in the UK and Europe and worldwide as well. But also my friend Justin uh, sells them on his website, so on his Etsy store, sorry. So I send these to Justin to help out with all you US guys, so he does a great job for me there. Um, and uh, yeah, so some of you who were buying the heat sinks uh, might find that... You know your uh, LED PCB doesn't fit inside, so you can see here the LED isn't just simply sliding into the heatsink. Um, now that's because these PCBs are meant to be 20 millimeters, but you'll find that some of them have burrs on them or might need filed down to cater for the quite small space that these heatsinks are meant to fit into. Most heatsinks are sort of more than an inch, but in this case, uh, for the Corbanthron and any other seven eight inch hilts. Uh, you need uh, ones with a 7 8 inch heatsink. So um, the heatsink is absolutely fine. It's 20.2 millimeters, the inner diameter. Uh, you'll find here that the lenses that you'll usually be using for your LEDs just fall right in, which sort of contradicts the fact that these PCBs should be 20 mil. But uh, like I said, there are some burrs on there that will require sanding down. So um, the lens pops out absolutely fine. But if you get your LED and your heatsink, and you start panicking because uh, it doesn't fit. Don't worry, it's a very simple fix, really, really easy to do. Um, just requires uh, either a Dremel with like, a sanding barrel, or you can use a bit of elbow grease and a hand file. Um, since most of you DIY guys will be using the heat sinks here, um, it's probably best for you to uh, have these tools. Um, rotary tools are really cheap now. Um, you don't have to get the Dremel brands. You can get some cheap brands. I think my one's made by a Silver Line here in the UK. I probably paid like fifteen pounds for it. So um, it also gives you a little excuse to buy some new tools, which everyone who builds their own lightsabers likes to do, buying new tools. But anyway, so uh, you'll just get your LED. Um, got your sanding barrel. Mine's on a flexi hose, so if you want to get a Dremel just uh, or a rotary tool, uh, you can search up flexi hose as well. But you don't have to use a flexi hose, it's just sort of what I got. It came as sort of a package deal on eBay. Um, but yeah, you can get them for you guys in America from a, what's it, Home Depot or here in the UK, either like B&Q or online. Like, like I said, eBay is usually the place where I buy sort of tools like this. And these sanding barrels, you can get massive packs of them for just like a pound. So um, really cheap in America as well. Now all you'll be doing really is just um, going around the edges of the uh, LED. So as you can see right now, um, LED doesn't fit. Um, Instead of throwing your heatsink at the wall or going crazy, this is going to be a quick video to show how simple it is. So, we're about three minutes into this video now, and I'll uh, start sanding at three minutes, which is coming up now, and we'll see how quickly it is to do. So that was about uh, 38 seconds on, according to my camera, and that's it. LED fits perfectly. Just pop your LED in there, get your lens, and quickly find the hole where it is, and that's it. Your lightsaber is ready for install, pop it out again, lens, LED, and that's how simple it is. Less than a minute to uh, get it fitting properly. Um, you'll find the same for when you go to TCSS, they say on their 7 8 inch heat sinks that you do need to uh, adapt it or use an adapter. Make sure that you're wearing some protective goggles when you're doing this, just in case you get any metal dust in your eye. But that's it guys, that's how simple it is to do. Um, I will offer the service as well, if you buy an LED from me, I'll have a little drop down menu, I'll probably charge something like a pound because it costs me about 40 seconds to do. But um, yeah, just goes to show really, so any questions or anything like that, just let me know, and uh, yeah, good luck with your builds.